Welcome. I wanted to detail how to get your virtual machine or any virtual machine to use an actual SSL certificate. And there's a couple of ways to do that. Now we're going to be doing this in one way that I find is the easiest. We're going to be using this tool called WinAcme. And we're going to be doing this in combination with a dynamic DNS entry from DuckDNS on an EC2 AWS instance that is running. Now the EC2 instance has an IP address that changes every single time you start it, which can cause issues because then your DNS entry needs to reflect that, which DuckDNS allows you to enter the entry. So what you need to do first is make sure you have a DNS entry uh, for the uh, public IPv4 address. So all you do is you copy this out. It'll change every single time. You have to do this every time. You go back to here and you enter it into the dialog and update uh, IP. I've already done that, so it's not going to do that. But normally you get a green box here that says that's updated. Okay, then you can actually go and check. Does the DNS entry that uh, you've sp supplied actually navigate to the place? So let's try that out. And it does. Now you'll notice that we're using HTTP. We've already bound the server to use HTTPS and we're using a self-signed certificate. So when we actually add the S in here, you'll see it does work. And I've already made it work so that it pops this up. But what happened is uh, it pops up a screen that warns you have to go to advanced and get through it. So. I've already done that um, and I've gone in, but you'll see I get this red crossed out HTTPS. And if we click on not secure, it'll tell you why the certificate is invalid. And if we click this, you'll see that it's issued to this big computer name um, and it's it's a self-signed certificate, meaning it, it's, it's like an IOU for security. Um, it's not signed by an authority. So like Canadian money is signed by the Canadian government. So when you give someone a bill, like a $5 bill, you have confidence that $5 bill is worth $5. In this case, I've given you a blank piece of paper and written five on it. it it's not really valid. So what we're going to do is get an actual certificate for this. Therefore, uh, it'll work. Now that has, again, has to be signed by an, a facility, um, which we're going to use the WinAcme to do that using an organization called Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt provides short-term certificates for SSL on websites for free. They last about three months and they even auto-renew. And this WinAcme allows us to go through that process and do it. But as I said, you have to have a couple of things set up. Now I'm going to go through this process and hopefully it'll go smooth, but I'll give you the, the uh, challenges that you might have if you're, if you're not doing it uh, right We'll, uh, we'll look through those. Anyway, so let's get started. We're going to register geoserve1.dns.org uh, with Let's Encrypt using that tool set. Now I've already created, uh, I've already started the virtual machine. I've already registered it. So it has the DNS entry um, with uh, a duck DNS entry in this case. And I've logged into it using remote desktop. And so this is the remote desktop itself to that system. Now, part of our program, we've already downloaded and installed the software for you. So you can just double click this uh, Win Acme to get a certificate. You do not actually need to um, uh, install the software. But if this was not for the GIS program, you're doing this on your own, you'll need to install this. So double clicking this will open up the program. And the program should run as an administrator. So I'm actually going to back out because it's not going to be run as an administrator at this point. So let's just back back out. So we'll hit Q. You'll see it has this uh, text based interface. So it's not a, a graphic user interface. It's a text based interface. So to start it up with an administrative rights, you just have to right click and run as administrator and therefore it'll run and we'll get the full options for the software. So this computer, as I said, is already set up. It already has a web server. It's using IIS. Um, and we're going to be using this software to get the certificate and get it set up. So we're going to be creating um, 
a certificate. So if you can see the, the letter N, and we'll try to use this one. This is using the default settings, so it tries to guess things. It tries to do it as easily as possible. So you'll see no sites with host bindings have been configured. Add one into the IS manager or choose the plugin manual input instead. So we're going to have to do the manual input option. So the N option won't work for us. Now there is a way to get this host bindings to work. So why don't we do that first? Okay, so the M option is an option, but I'm gonna give this one a go. So we'll quit this and we'll go in and set that up. So in IIS, in the start menu, brings up Internet Information Services Manager. And what this is, is the manager for the web server that's on the local computer. And if we go to sites, you'll see the default website. So this is actually the web server. This is the control panel for IIS. So in here, we can start setting up and configuring some different things. So it's the bindings that we need to change. And you'll see there's two bindings to port 80 and 443. So if you're curious how it knows what port to use, well, this is what port this is listening to. And currently, you'll see that the host name is empty for this binding. So that's what we need to supply. We need to supply it with the binding that we've used in our duck DNS. So if I go back to my duck DNS, you've entered an entry in here. I've called it GeoServe. So you did that up here. And then you've given it the IP address that you'd like it to reference. So GeoServe will be the, the subdomain, and then it'll be .duckdns.org. So that's mine. You can't use that one because I have it. It has to be unique. The domain needs to be completely unique for every computer, which is why we can't set this up in advance for you guys. Okay, so uh, geoserve1.duckdns.org. Okay, you'll see that the SSL certificate is currently using the internal one. I'll say okay and close. Okay, so now we have the entry in here. So let's go back. We'll rerun the software as an administrator. Remember, right click, run as administrator. And then we'll do an N option. And you'll see now it's allowing us to perform the, uh, the certificate, the create certificate option. So one default website, that's the one we're going to change. And we're going to pick all bindings. You'll notice there's this little green entry. The green entry is the default if you just hit enter. It'll actually pick that, or you click uh, type the letter and it'll do that. So which one are we going to use? Do we want to continue with this selection? Yes. So Y with a star. The star basically means that it's, again, the default option. So yes. Um, do you want to agree to the terms of service? Uh, yes, we're going to agree to them, uh, but we're not going to read them at this point. I do recommend if you're curious to see how it it's uh, licensed to read these terms. No, we're not going to open them. Do you agree with them? Yes, we agree with them. Enter email for notification about problems and abuse. So this will be registered against the SSL certificate. So you need to use a real uh, email address. I'm just going to use my uh, Gmail one that I use for core stuff. This isn't one that I uh, monitor. It's meant for exactly stuff like this. So I go through and then it goes through and actually sees if it can grab the entry, um, it's going to check it. So this is where it's actually coming back to your web server, looking at a specific file and making sure everything's good. And there we go. I have now updated my certificate. It's done it automatically and it actually adds a service to the computer. So a task schedule service that goes through and checks every day to make sure that the certificate is updated because the certificate is only valid for a short period of time. So it's now done it all, and that's it. It's that simple to get an actual SSL certificate using Let's Encrypt on DuckDNS. Just a couple of things you need to remember. You need to remember that IIS has to have the entry as the host on the bindings for 443, and you need to have your IP address correctly routed using the DuckDNS entry. With those things done, you can quit. Let's go and test this out real quick. If you remember here, I was in this window, so let's press Shift Reload. And there we go. Now we have a valid certificate for that DNS entry. And if we click on this, 
you can see the certificate is valid and you'll see it's uh, issued to this exact URL. If we go to the details on it, you'll see that its issuer is Let's Encrypt. And it's valid from today through till May 4th. And that's why that update is in there. It wants to make sure that uh, every time you um, are going to have the certificate expire, it will automatically update it for you. Although this service for this course would likely be done by then. Okay, so there you go. You have a certificate that's valid and that you can use, and you have a virtual machine that's working. So uh, I hope you found this useful. Uh, definitely uh, uh, provide me comments if you found anything challenging in this, and I look forward to helping you understand more about ArcGIS Server on the web.